also in Hollywood, a Greek rock band played for the first time at the legendary Roxy Theatre on Sunset Strip. Barbed Wire Dolls is the first rock band to be formally invited from Greece to the US for a series of performances. Their songs have been played the last month on rock radio station KROQ, who invited the girl-fronted band to California. Rodney Bingenheimer from Rodney on the Rock KROQ said playing us on the radio, you know, that, you know, for a band from Greece, let alone a band from anywhere that's like gigantic. So we packed our stuff, we sold our most of our belongings, and um, we left within two weeks. <laughs> This is not a film about a band looking back on their careers. This is a documentary looking at a band, the first band, coming from Greece to fucking praise rock and roll and punk and the story of what happened to them during the first three months. <laughs> Yeah, she's. I've got light there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. So we'll we'll give you a little uh, update of what happened to us. We're we're from uh, we're Bar Bar Dolls. This is Isis, Queen Isis. I'm Tass Doll, the, the guitarist. Greg is in the back now. I'm getting his drums together. Uh -huh. Gregorios. Um, yeah. We met him in Athens. We're from Crete. We live in Crete. That's where the band started, the Icarus Artist Commune in Crete. You want to be rich, then find some way to make someone rich. You want to be happy, find someone to make them happy. If you want to feel good, make someone smile. So Hey guys, it's Queen Isis from the Barbara Dolls. Just a little note that we're leaving. We're going to LA and uh, we're leaving the artist coming here in Crete. Boo hoo. But we're going to kick some ass in America. And uh, we just want to thank all our friends out there, especially Rodney from Rodney on the Rock on K Rock the radio station in America, who is the first to play Barbara Dolls in the United States of America. So, thank you very much. We love you guys. See you soon in L.A. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Rodney Bingenheimer from K-Rock. Rodney on the Rock. Started playing 
R C D R E P Street Generation in California. Two favorite songs of his. And um came all the way from Greece. We just arrived in LAX. We're tired, we're hungry, we're waiting for our ride, but it was all worth it because it was rocking. Rodney Bigheimer from K Rock's Rodney on the Rock. First DJ to make K Rock. And um that's right. <laughs> and we're sitting here at Canton with him. He's got his plaque behind him, I bet. And um, he's the first one to be playing Farbar Doll in LA, in the world, on radio. And he's a genius, he's a mastermind, he's too humble to admit it. <laughs> uh, I want to say hello to all my friends, Mykonos. I spent some time in Mykonos, I had a great time there. Amazing. Mykonos, yeah. <laughs> And um, we love you, Rodney. Thank you. You're amazing. You don't know what you're looking for, so you don't know what you'll find. So learn to breathe and learn to believe. Learn to believe. Learn to be free. But um, for people that don't know, he when everybody turned down Sex Pistols and the Ramones, you know, he started playing on the radio show, saying they're great, they're worthwhile. Listen to them. First, the pers first person in the U.S. to play Sex Pistols, Ramones, Blondie, X, Social Distortion, Nirvana, Offspring, um, so many. I mean, Oasis, Coldplay. I mean, it's amazing that how many of these bands wouldn't exist if it wasn't for him saying I'm gonna play this on my radio show and people listened um, it's a long time now and I don't I mean no doubt was probably one of the last few bands he discovered and started playing and, and oh, I guess but uh, it's really great that he started playing us and it's really helped because stations all over the world now are picking up our record and playing it just because Rodney's playing it and we don't even know about it half the time, but we just found out that we're in rotation in Lima, Peru, and the biggest rock station there that's been there since 1979. They want to bring us down for a concert down there, and, um, and this is all happening because of one person. And that's the power of Rodney Bingenheimer. Radio's on, it's time for Rodney on the Rock. He was the first to play records by Blondie, the Ramones, Sex Pistols, and Nirvana, to name a few. Rodney tells you you're a star. How did you meet Rodney? I stalked him. But let's talk about you. Rodney on the Rock! What kind of future do you see for punk rock? Get out there and make a fucking difference to wake up for once and stop listening to what you have to do and make a choice for yourself.
practice. We made flyers. She started passing out flyers on the Roxy, outside of the Roxy. People are like, man, what is this? You know, you're yeah, passing out flyers. Yeah, we made an flyers. event that we were passing out flyers almost every night, which yeah. bands don't do anymore. It's really unbelievable how many bands leave it to the internet and the cyber world to do all their promotion instead of getting in with the people again. I mean, people want to be feel connected to the band. They don't, they don't you know, it, it's the times have changed and probably better for us because, you know, we're influenced by all the early bands that, you know, in order to get a show, in order to pack up their shows, they had to, you know, get be one with the crowd, get in there and hand out flyers and talk to them and say, you know, where are you from? Well, where did you come from? Well, I told you What's that's life? how I found you. You found me. Exactly. Romper Stomper. You were out there passing out. Yeah. See? What? Well, well, that's know. everyone that pretty Power much came in. I mean, <laughs> the, the, I remember, you know, you watch the documentaries about Guns N' Roses and the Hollywood Strip back then. Everybody was passing out flyers. The kind of Western civilization, you know, part one. You know, of course, part two is, is uh, awesome. But um, that's the thing is that we went to the street in a sense and just passed out flyers. And, you know, she talks to people, we talked to people, and they're like, You're from Greece. And, you know, and we didn't even know when we were here, but when we booked the show, we realized people told us in Greece, the critics and the people that write web magazine stuff, Do you know you're the first rock band from Greece to play America? And we're like, 2010 oh and we're the, 2010, we're the first, first rock, rock band. band from Greece to play America. Uh, I don't think so. So we decided to, to, you know, next thing you know, we got a press and there's some this and that. that the, you know, the Greek band is going to, rock band is going to be the first to make history. And, and then we realized that all our friends in Greece who kept saying, ah, nothing's going to happen. You're going to America. You're going to be back in a month. They all started saying, can we come? Can we book a show? I mean, so we wow, realized now. Possible. First of all, we sold out the Roxy, which is an amazing thing. We've made history, and now... All right, my name is Rodney Bingenheimer. I did the Rodney on the Rock show on KROQ at midnight. Now, the band you're about to see and hear tonight listens to my show all the way in Greece. It's a streaming online, and they got influence and moved out to California. And you're about to witness history. This is their very first USA appearance. This is it, right here. This is history. You're part of it. Anyway, the Roxy on the Sunset Strip is proud to present to you, all the way from Greece, Barb Wire Dog! All the way from Greece, you heard them on my show. Here they are. Barbed wire doll.
It's the first time she saw no you guys. Fear, she's like, girl. She was like, no, 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 don't tell me she's lost residency. I'm going to tell your friends. I'm going to be out here with everybody. Hey, Malaka, hello. Hello. Oh, oh, he's all over here. here. Yeah. Yeah. And here's a Malaka, Scott, hey. my new brother. Hey. And uh, so the first time she saw you, she no, seriously. So, so, so he, uh, why'd you come to see us tonight? You I came here because I heard there were great people in town. And I was like, where are those Mora Greeks? I was kidding. Because we're great. I get that from this guy. I'm reaching out for you, but the waves push me down. I'm waiting for the sun that goes down. Somebody from Greece is calling me. Yeah. yeah, we'll talk to them later. Last night we played here, I put on my gear and I jogged all the way down the street. Oh, all right. And I was, I looked like some okay. dude randomly <laughs> jogging. And I was doing like all these exercises. And that was pretty warm. Yeah. It's a cold day today. essentially are busting down the doors for people to take notice of Greek rock bands because the scene is pretty much started in 81 after The Cure and the police came to Greece and played and everybody started bands right after that and started singing in English in the hopes that maybe they one day they would uh, you know be able to tour and play some, play some places, play America. And um, some 20 years later, 30 years later, here we are. The OCs really opened their arms to us. It's amazing. I mean, the, first of all, the crowd and the people are awesome. And they're dying for, you know, just a little more movement that hasn't happened since, what, No Doubt? Like, got famous from, from yeah, the Doll Hut? Nice band. And um, they've really opened their arms to us. The rest of LA has done the same thing. I mean, it's amazing how many shows we've booked in such a little time. We've been here two and a half months, and, you know, we're booked till April. I can see like I I'm gonna be the every night. I'm gonna be the best. 
you back in here. I know you're back there. I can smell ya. No. So we're live here on Pancakes and Punk, only on FlashRock.com, live in the studio with the Barbed Wire Dolls. How are you guys doing tonight? Awesome! <laughs> someone else is telling you what to do instead of finding means to support yourself. Just for the, just for the record, though, it does make a difference who's president. No, it doesn't. I mean, I have... You are against president. You'll never be happy. As long as you think that the president that's in power right now is going to cause trouble, wake up. When was the last time you had a president that was good? In your mind. Because if you're right now. democratic, the republic will say, fuck that. If you're, it doesn't make a difference. There are always going to be people that are arguing, just like who's better, whose God is better, whatever. You're never going to win. You have to do it for yourself. No one is there to stop you what you think. You can live your life. As long as you don't step on people's toes, no one's going to be in your way. I've been living here. I have no enemies. I've been living like this for nine years. Just following my dream, living it. We came here with just pennies in our pocket. We sold everything. Everyone is opening their arms to us. And we're living. We're doing everything. We're playing. People are inviting it. I tell you, if we start right now saying, these bands sucks, fuck them, but someone's going to start saying, fuck these guys, stop them. And it's going to change our destiny. Because we have to realize that when you cause them to another, you cause yourself. And you know what? It's our world. I mean, I'm not a Buddhist, but I'm just saying, you know, Buddha said, love yourself first and foremost. If you overflow with love for yourself, you're going to be able to love others. It's the same thing. I mean... When the Beatles got their love, they changed their music. Oh, my God. 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 Came here. We're really blessed. We live in this place dog town because I was in Venice when I was a kid for a while and I got to skate with some of the dog town Z boys you know the Z boys from dog town um, you know Tony Alba and all those guys and um, kept in touch with them and if one of our songs is California it talks about some of our experience we were here two years ago we were in Mexico filming a surf film I was a the first surfer in Greece professional surfer in Greece and so I got paid to go for my sponsor, Billabong and stuff, to go to Mexico to a film. We ended up living for six months in a tent, in a deserted area in the middle of Mexico in uh, tropical waters and surfed every day and did the film. And, and um, No electricity, just No just electricity, just campfires every night and we played songs. We wrote songs for Barbar Dolls. Um, until we had a serious Mexican experience and had to get out. Yeah, we had to get out. Um, that's, another, that's another story. We won't talk about that. Uh, we're glad to be here. We're glad to be alive. But we, we cherished life after that. We're like, we're living it to its fullest. Don't go to here we are. Day. Here we are a month, a year later, and um, wouldn't ex have expected it being uh, trapped on a tropical beach for six months. <laughs> Yeah, we got out perfectly in perfect time, actually. And so I saw your I saw your photos on your Facebook of your of some Venice stuff. I mm -hmm. guess when you were a kid, so I was wondering about that a little bit. So yeah, I got really blessed. My parents, I started skateboarding in '75. Come on in, Gabe. This is Voodoo Doll. Yeah, there he is. Voodoo Doll. Voodoo Doll. Sorry, guys. I was over. I was just listening to music in the car. They are playing your buddy's flogging Molly. Oh, really? Yeah, on the yeah. Uh, on the underground garage. Uh, Radio station. Oh, there we go. We can have a little light for each other. See, so guys. Uh, yeah, yeah so there's light there for him. Yeah, so yeah, um, yeah. we met this guy, and this guy actually played in the Fuzz Tones for right. years. Howdy. He, How are uh, you guys doing? Doing all right. Thanks. All right. <laughs> he played Lords Altamont, played Guilty Hearts, played with White Trash Deputants. He's 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 the, he's the real deal, you know. And um, <laughs> and uh, he's not a pedophile, and he's not Sid Vicious <laughs> live alive. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> when, I get, when I run out of things to do, I might become one of those. Yeah. And he lives in this epic place called the Ranch, which is in the right in the hills of the mountains. And I don't know what land. Is that Pasadena, Altadena? Exactly. Yeah. You know oh, okay. it. Okay. Well, just because I think the Wooly Bandits were going to do a show there, maybe that's right. Six months ago. I don't. I guess it fell through or something. Well, we yeah, actually right. met. We actually met Voodoo from the Wooly Bandits. That's how oh, we really? Because oh, we called them from Rick, Greece. Rick is a, bu a butt of mine. He was actually oh, okay. over all this week, uh, uh, helping me on uh, property, like you know, helping me build stuff up. Oh, all right. 
So. I saw the chicken coop video of yeah. the morning after yeah. in Vegas. Chicken. Different family. Right here. Kitchen arrived with the barbed wire dolls back from the Vegas show. Head back to Elvis. Yeah. 